Hello friends, if you want to build your career as captain, we are here to help you. Today's topic is about captain in Etihad Airways. You have to be responsible for safety and security of all crew members and passengers on board. You have to be responsible for the operation and safety for the aircraft from the moment the aircraft is first ready to move for the purpose or uh, prior to take off until the moment it finally comes to rest at the end of the flight okay and having authority to give all commands he deems uh, necessary for uh, the purpose of securing the safety of the aircraft or of person or property uh, carried therein having authority to uh, disembark any person or any part of cargo which uh, in his opinion may uh, represent a potential hazard to the safety of the aircraft or its occupants. You have to ensure that all crew comply with all operational checklists. You have to ensure the proper implementation and application of the manufacturing of aircraft by Etihad Airways and the commander or the pilot to whom conduct the flight has been delegated shell in an emergency situation, a situation that requires immediate decision and action. So take any action they consider necessary under the circumstances. In such cases, they may have divide from rules, operationals, procedures and methods in the interest of safety. So operating the aircraft with the scope of all operational values, taking all responsible measures to ensure that all persons carried in the aircraft obey all lawful commands given by themselves for the purpose of securing the safety of the aircraft. To ensure customer's awareness and if I talk about some qualifications then a minimum of 7000 hours total flying should be a minimum of 2500 PIC hours on multi-crew or a glass cockpit jet aircraft should be a type rating on any Airbus wide body FW should be valid for a minimum of two months at the time of joining unrestricted and current ICAO or ATPL required, flown any Airbus FW uh, within the last 12 months is required, unrestricted and current class 1 medical is required, must not have attained the age of 59 years old upon the uh, date of joining, current uh, TRI is an advantage if you have, and English language frequency written in verbal and verbal is required. Okay. So, if I talk about salary and benefits, then starting salary uh, uh, would be AD 32,000 per month for captains or it can be increased during um, your training period. It depends on, on how you perform in your training period. And next is flight duty allowance like 1 to 6 years of service. It will be increased. Okay. So, if I talk about some um, uh, meal allowance during your training period, even they will provide you. So, housing allowance there are uh, education allowance there are medical allowance income protection scheme and life insurance uh, dental benefits end of service benefits and some value programs they will ensure for you so this is all for now if you want more information please subscribe our channel thank you